from Britpool. And yes, I have moved rooms, so this is even less exciting of a room, but never mind. Um, yes, so this is going to be a review for 10 Things I Hate About You, which is one of my all-time favourite films. Um, I've just watched it on Disney+. Disney Plus. I was a bit confused how it's on Disney+, Plus, but never mind, I was not complaining, because I don't actually own it physically, so yeah so i've just watched it i've literally just stopped crying <laughs> at that scene um yeah so big cast really for back in the day um heath ledger julia styles you've got joseph gordon levitt in there um you've got the guy who plays the head elf on the disney santa claus movie with tim allen bernard can't remember his real name though um yeah it's like the, one of the best high school romance comedy movies out there. Um, it's one of them that I really hope they never try to remake. Um, I absolutely love it. Like it, you've got such a good storyline. So you've got two sisters um, and the youngest one isn't allowed to date until the older one can, decides to date. But the problem with the older sister, who is Julia Stiles, is she's just evil. She just hates the world. Um, she just yeah she just hates the world she's so nasty she's so mean um and then obviously joseph gordon levitt wants to date the younger sister um so heath ledger takes payment to date julia styles so joseph gordon levitt can date the younger one so yeah um awesome soundtrack typical like high school movie soundtrack like some awesome bands on there um the song at the end i want you to want me is unbelievable and um, that was a massive hit when that came out um some amazing scenes in this movie the the scene where he gets the mic on the playing field and he sings you're just too good to be true um that is just such an iconic scene i never forget that scene ever and then obviously the scene when she reads the poem is so emotional like it's when she reads it and she starts to crumble when she's reading it and then the camera just goes to Heath Ledger's face and it's the most heartbreaking emotional facial expression I've ever seen it's just oh my god as soon as the camera goes on him I'm just like gone I'm broken emotionally broken um yeah it's just such a good feel good movie um as soon as I seen it on Disney plus I was like we're in lockdown I'm all emotional at the moment I'm gonna watch this to feel a bit better and it worked it definitely worked apart from me cry at the end but never mind um no I absolutely love it I would recommend it to anybody anybody who's got Disney plus watch it I keep bugging my auntie to watch this sorry about the banging in the background um yeah go and watch it like even if you're not a fan of high school romantic comedies just go and watch it just for the nostalgia of who's in it and how young they look oh my god like joseph gordon levitt just looks like five <laughs> so yeah definitely recommend it um yeah see you in the outtakes okay so here in the outtakes um at I was awake at 3.30 this morning, so I thought, I'm going to watch 10 Things I Hate About You and review it, because I've never done it for the channel. Um, and then I started thinking, what can the outtake be? So I decided at 3.30 this morning to write my own version of the 10 Things I Hate About You poem, aimed at Stephen, of course. So I've wrote it. It's here on my iPad. So I'm going to read it out. There will be things in this that you will be thinking, what the fuck? but I will elaborate at the end. So here goes. I hate the way you wind me up and tell me I'm getting dumped. I hate it when you voice message me just so I can hear you pump. I hate the way you make me laugh when you deserve a slap on the head. I hate it when you hide in the corner because apparently I hog the bed. I hate it when you wrestle me because you're definitely not the rock. I hate it when you pick your toe for it then to bleed into your sock. I hate it when you fall asleep and leave the TV on too loud. I hate it that you're always right and always make me proud. But mostly I hate you not being here. I hate that we can only call because obviously I don't hate you, Puddin. Not even close, not even a little bit, not even at all. So that is for Stephen. Um, 
the bleeding into the sock bit. So he has this really bad habit of picking his toe and then it'll bleed. Instead of putting a plaster on it, he just puts a sock on. And I'm like, well, it's just going to bleed into the sock. So that's one thing. Um, the wrestling thing, um, he just thinks he's the rock and he's not. He just puts me in loads of wrestling locks, which really hurt <laughs> sometimes. Um, so yeah, that's what that's aimed at. Um, yeah, he always teases that he's going to dump me. I just know he loves us too much to do that. Um, what was the other thing in there? Oh yeah, so he always crawls into the corner of the bed because the bed's against the wall. So he always like, literally, like any further, he'll be down the back of the radiator because apparently I hog the bed. Excuse me, you are way bigger than me and I'm not calling you fat. <laughs> so yeah, that is what that's aimed at. But like, share and sub subscribe to the channel. God, I can't even get my words out at the moment. Lockdown, please stop. Um, yes, like, share and subscribe to the channel. I don't know if he will be adding outtakes. He would probably end up writing his own poem, knowing him. Um, but yeah, I've been Britbo. Speak soon. There's your outtake, Brittany. Now where's me sock? And now, the end is here.